Okay. Mike, check. Nice. Kill kicks, hoodies, check. T, you good? Mm. You okay? Nah. Mm. Talk to me. We fit 10K. Right. We dropped a whole bunch of videos. Yes, we have. So why do I still feel like there's something missing? I hear you, you know, you know. Missing, you know I what I mean? I hear that, yeah. I do hear that. Yeah. I got nothing. Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another performance review. And today we are finally taking a look at the Nike Adapt Electro Adaptive Reactive Lacing BBs. Whew. Let's get it. First and foremost, massive thank you to all of our subscribers helping us reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers is a massive deal, isn't it, to me? It's too big. You man are sick. All of you, man. Yep. And, and this girls. is actually our first performance review since hitting 10K. So we'd like to say a massive thank you to Proderick Basketball for providing us with the this future. absolute madness of a basketball shoe. The future. The future. And if you would like your pair of the Nike Adapt BBs, all you need to do is head over to the description box below, click the link, and Proderick Basketball will take care of you. But just before you do that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like this video and show your support as you guys already have. Comment down below what your thoughts are on the Adapt BBs. And of course, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. Just like our performance reviews, our comparisons, even our vlogs, hit that bell so you never miss a thing when it comes to pure kicks. Nike announced this back in February and we've been super excited since then. Timmy hasn't been able to sit still since, and as you guys can see, he still can't. But we've been boiling in the shoe for the last couple of days and we have some really, really good things to say about it. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So as per usual, starting out of our favorite part of the suit, and yes, you probably guessed it, it's the fit. It being the very first self-lacing basketball shoe is all thanks to the Earl technology in the BB. The Earl technology is a cable system inbuilt into the shoe that allows you to control and adjust the fit of the shoe from pretty much all over. Now to control the Earl technology can be done two ways. The first way is via your smartphone. So out of the box, all you have to do is download the Nike Adapt app and then simply turn on your Bluetooth and connect it by tapping the phone to these buttons on the side of the shoe. Once paired, you can then adjust the fit on both the left and the right, however you see fit, pun intended. Now, for those who maybe don't have a smartphone or the smartphone's out of battery, you can still adjust the fit manually using the buttons, however you see fit. Like so. So why did you copy me? I felt left out. You felt left out? Okay, you felt left out. But with all that being said and all the technology, how did they feel? Absolutely incredible to me. Absolutely amazing. And my favorite thing about the shoe is that the shoe remembers your fit. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not only can you save your fit on the app, mm -hmm. the shoe also remembers the way you laced your shoe up the last time you wore them. That's sick. So instantly, no, when you put your foot inside the shoe, again, it will adjust to the way you had them the last time, or you can just switch it to your favorite fit setting on your phone. It's kind of mad, to be honest. What you're saying is a mental sentence. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. These did a madness. It's a smart shoe. There you go. It's a match your smartphone. And with that being said, if we had to give it a score. Yeah, it'd be easy nine. It's an easiest of nines. The yeah. strongest of nines of all time. Of all time. Because it's a close 10. It's just not quite there. Why is it not a 10 to me? Well, the shoe itself is still built to a last. So it's built in a one way. And yes, the Earl system can conform it a little bit. Yeah. However, it's not quite perfection, which it's is a 10. Pretty damn close. But it is pretty damn close. Yeah. Nike are working on perfection. Now, next favorite part of the shoe, the traction. Now, Nike pays homage to the Air Force One and the Air Jordan One. They're both iconic shoes 
and revolutionary in their respective eras. So it only makes sense for Nike to pay homage to those amazing shoes in the Nike Adapt VBs. Now what we have are radial patterns on both pivot points along with deep horizontal grooves throughout the shoe all on a lovely translucent outsole. Combining all three of those things, the radial pattern, the horizontal grooves, the translucent outsole, sounds like a recipe for a bad boy traction. Yep. And it did exactly that. Now, we tested them out on a few quarts, a little bit of dusty quartz, some clean quartz too. On the clean quartz, it's not a, it's, it's not it's a the, conversation. There's no problem it's whatsoever. It's not a conversation. Not, just that we've got to talk about that. It's yeah. a problem. On dusty quartz, yes, there was a little bit of attraction to dust, which is to be expected sometimes on translucence. Yeah. But the wide grooves did mean it didn't get caught in there. So definitely not a dust collector. But however, it did attract a little dust. So wiping was easy. Now, my favorite part of the traction is how deep the grooves are. I hear that. You're paying a lot of money for these shoes, Timmy. Easy. So you want a traction pattern that feels like it's going to last a while. 100%. And these definitely do. Would I take these outdoors? No, no, I wouldn't take these outdoors. That's not because of the traction pattern, but because of the nature of the entire shoe. If this traction pattern with the exact same outsole as in another shoe, I would definitely take them oh, outdoors. Facts. But not these babies. Nah. These are staying at home. They can't run. With me. So overall, after that beastly performance on the traction, it's a 9 out of 10. Easy 9 out of 10. Another one. So next up, talking about the materials. Now here in the Adapt BB, we have Nike's best. Yes. We've got a mesh construction on the internal sleeve, along with a fly knit shroud, which is peng. Yeah. Truly peng. And we've suede on the tongue, which is actually under the fly knit, and then again on the heel as well. So these are some of Nike's best materials, which came together extremely well to really accompany that old technology we spoke about a yeah. second ago. So as we said before, this is a premium price shoe. So we expect premium materials and we got just that. They all came together really, really well, felt amazing on foot, especially with that nice fit we spoke about a second ago. These are some great materials. 100%. I'm happy with them. They're light, they're breathable, they're flexible. Breaking time is minimal. Breaking time is minimal. What more do you want? I've got nothing else. That's, that, that's all the boxes. I've got other boxes to tick. Yeah. You've ticked all my boxes, so. So with all of that being said, the materials get a nine out of 10. Strong nine out of 10. We love the premium materials and the Flynet is a Pure Kicks favorite. Pure Kicks favorite. So there's no complaints here. Next up, talking about the cushioning, what we have is a full length cushion midsole which not only houses the L technology, mm -hmm. but also provides us with that beautiful, beautiful cushioning system Max. that gives us the cool feel that we need, Needed. the impact protection that we want, Needed. and just the general comfort too, Tim. 100%. It just feels amazing. Now, personally, I love cushioning. Yeah. Last time we saw it was in the Kyrie 4, obviously last year, and that was beastly. Yeah. We loved it. It was almost a comeback for cushioning performs so so well and it did the same here in the Adapt BB. I definitely would love to see a Lunalon or a React maybe in the next BB yeah because those cushions go crazy. They do. But Kushlon did its absolute thing. It's here to stay. It's rocking with some of the best. Kushlon 100% is the thing. For the win. Given the cushion in a score, it's 8 out of 10. It's a strong 8 out of 10. Yeah. We'll take that. 100%. Now last but definitely not least talking about the support. Now here in the Adapt BB, we got it all. Yep. We got it all. We have the usual suspects of the outrigger. We have an internal heel counter along with an external heel clip. And then of course the overall lockdown issue, which comes from the fit that you of course decide using the Earl technology. And they all came together like we should as people and humans in the world, yes, right? As 100%. we should, as we really should come together and just be the Adapt BB because these Support system things, wow. Harmonious. Harmonious, melody, all of these things. Truly incredible. Amazing, amazing 100%. support. Now my favorite thing about the support system is the fit. Okay. Now with regular laces, yeah. the shoe may loosen after uh, playing in a little while, this. right? Here we go. Whereas an electric lacing system, the shoe doesn't loosen unless you want it to. And obviously if the shoe loosens, that automatically makes it less supportive. True. Whereas you don't have that problem here. True. Unless you give your phone to somebody else and they play around with it, then of course. That, that might or be Or it issue. could be when you're taking a free throw and someone might bend down and press a button. 
That's a foul. That is a foul. Or a box out. That is a foul. If you touch my shoes when I'm in a free throw, I want more free throws. That is a foul, ref. Call it. That is a foul. I'm calling it every scrimmage. I'm calling it every scrimmage. Don't try me. That's a foul. No, I'm getting upset now. That's a foul. Don't touch me. Or my shoes. That is a foul. That's a flagrant, in fact. That's a flagrant one. <laughs> the support overall was super strong. Yeah. Twist, turn, step backs, defense, offense are taken care of. He just held an issue in a very, very good way. So with that being said, the score is an eight out of 10. But why is the support not a nine or a 10? Well, here at Pure Kicks, we believe that in order to have a nine or a 10 out of 10 support system, mm -hmm. you need everything we just mentioned. Everything. Along with some ankle coverage. 100%. I.e., you need 16 straps, a high top collar that reaches all the way to your knees, an Iron Man boot, everything to be locked in to give you 10 out of 10 support. And now, we have come to the overall score of the Electro Adaptive Reactive Lacing BB. And the score? 8.6 out of 10. What more do you want? What do you want? 8.6, the first ever self-lacing basketball shoe is here, and it is one of the best shoes we've ever played in. 100%. Big facts. We've had the opportunity, as you've seen, in our first impressions video, we played with them in Nike Town London that yeah. time, back in Feb, and now we're here. We gave them some real work over the past couple of days. This shoe is not a joke. It's not a gimmick. There's no games here. Nike, adapt, be. You know what scares me, Timmy? What scares you, Flo? What scares you? This is the first one. Yeah, facts. Yeah, I'm when you compare no, I'm basketball scared. shoes Good. from the first model to what we have in the future... Now I'm scared. Now I'm scared. I hope you're happy. Now I'm scared. Because they're only going to improve, right? I'm not going to sleep tonight. Like, it's only going to get better, right? It's only going to go up. And from, the, from here? To go up from here? Oh my God. Now that's it from us. If you would like your pair of the Nike Adapt BBs, head over to the description box below, click the link to the Predirect website, and they will take care of you. And also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like this video as you guys already have. It helps us out so, so much. And so make sure you hit that thumbs up. Comment down below what your thoughts are on the Adapt BB. Will you be copying a pair? And what shoe would you like us to compare one of the best shoes this year to as well? And lastly, don't forget to hit that big, amazing red subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video you don't want to miss a thing from pure kicks so hit that bell so right guys that's it from us this is the nike adapt bb we're pure kicks let's get it